guys, this is Dr. Hein. I was thinking about this great quote from a famous Chinese medicine physician throughout history named Sun Sun Yao. And he was talking about the highest level of medicine being no medicine, being no intervention. And I thought I would share this with you today because I think there are so many really key medical lessons that are essential for healing really at the highest level. So what Dr. Sun said 1500 years ago was one of the most profound medical lessons that I think many of us still forget to this day. And often because it's not even practiced in conventional medicine. And since that's our exposure to medicine, that's just what we see. Now what he said back then was, upper doctors or the higher level physician treats no illness. Middle level doctors treat illness that is approaching or is soon. And low level doctors treat illness that is already there or a person who is already sick. So what does this really mean? There's this idea in Chinese medicine, and really in medicine in general, that minimal intervention necessary is the highest level of medicine. And it makes sense because if I do not have to have surgery, why would I ever do surgery because of the other risks associated with it? Not the least of which is bankruptcy. <laughs> but for even mild things or benign things, like let's just say digestive problems, the lowest level may just be changing one's diet than deciding to eat better food. A mid-level intervention may be a medical intervention necessary, and an advanced intervention like an ulcerative colitis may actually be that there is surgery and some of the bowel is gonna be removed. Now that's gonna forever change someone's life. They may be a 25-year-old now with a colostomy bag, and you know they're pooping into a bag, and that's obviously a much more severe and irreversible consequence than having to change one's diet. Now, in addition to this, what it means is that in Chinese medicine, what we're training to do is treat that which is still subtle. Treat that which is subtle. So when we notice a little bit change, a small change in our mood, or we notice a little bit of a change in our sleep, or a little bit of a change in our bowel habits, or the little bit of dry eyes that's happening, or a little bit more dandruff, to pay attention to those clear signs, because those are the canaries in the coal mine. Maybe it's just 1% and it's not a big deal, but maybe a year from now, that is a big deal. And so in Chinese medicine, our goal is to train ourselves to recognize when is that the body tilting away from homeostasis. So the high level physician treats things when they are at their 1%, when they are a seed brewing. And that's the skill of the great doctor to spot that which is subtle and to be able to treat it in the least invasive way possible. Now, another great quote from our classical medical ancestors. Here's another one about the highest level of medicine and when to use what. This passage says that tonification or strengthening with herbs is not as good as tonification with food. And tonification with food is not as good as no need for tonification at all. So just like we talked about, let's say someone with IBS, why would we ever recommend someone to get surgery or even a colonoscopy when we haven't tried food therapy or we haven't tried lifestyle or stress relief, meditation or getting better sleep? You know, but in our culture, it's so common to see people just go through two or three doctor's visits and they're already doing surgical consults or they're already 24 years old and put on medication for the rest of their life. And this is a problem. This is a really big problem because if a lesser intervention works, for example, we talked about with IBS, if some of those can, cases can be fixed with just food alone, then why are we jumping to medications? Why are we jumping to potentially surgeries? Why are we jumping to giving patients antidepressants for their gut problems when we haven't even gone through that therapeutic order, so to speak? And so I absolutely love this quote. There's so much wisdom and so much mastery in it for a practitioner who understands that and, and actually practices that way because it's not so easy. But understanding that the highest level of medicine is no intervention necessary and to always try to be inching towards that. Now the goal for me is, if I'm being really honest, is to put myself out of business. The goal is with my patients for us to work together on healing their constitution, whatever has pulled their body out of homeostasis to the point where they don't need Chinese formulas, they definitely don't need medications, and they don't need to worry that some grave or more serious illness is gonna come take them out down the line. And putting myself out of business is the most important thing in this field, which is getting people to a point where their constitution 
is now no longer stressed as easily by the outside world. I think this is something that I wish conventional medicine paid more attention to, or I guess had more resources for dealing with, but that's really important to remember, that the highest level of medicine is no intervention necessary. If it can be treated with food, then why use medication? If it can be treated with medication, then why use surgery? You know what I mean? We always inching towards the line of least intervention necessary and also being able to spot that within ourselves. Am I 1% off today? Am I 20% off today? Am I 50% off and I really need to dial back for a few months? Recognizing as ourselves, the physician within, how much has that canary in the coal mine? Is the canary chirping or is the canary screaming or is the canary passing out and dying? Recognizing today, where am I on that spectrum? So that you can always be living in that zone of no intervention is necessary. And certainly, if an intervention is necessary, it's a mild or gentle one. All right, you guys, that's what I have for today. Again, if you'd like to see me in my private practice in my clinic, check out the links right below this video. There's a free download for a guide for daily rituals that can possibly help you add years to your life with Chinese medicine and become a patient of mine locally or virtually via telemedicine. The links are right below for my clinic and private practice.